Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. Approximately 10 after 11 in Honolulu, 10 after 5 in New York. It is the 5th day of July, Thursday, 2012, and this is uh, the daily report for gold and silver. For all of my subscribers in the mainland USA, I hope you had a good and healthy and happy 4th of July. We do have the precious metals markets under pressure this morning. Gold currently trading off, off of the lows, which were 1596 in the cash market, trading at 1604.60. As I said, off 1280 on the day. And silver off almost 60 cents, 59 cents lower at 2780. Traders, very interesting push pull scenario going on right now. We did conclude the meeting yesterday, Thursday, with the European Central Banks. In that, they did lower some key interest rates by about a quarter of a percent, which was expected and I also believe pretty much factored into the market itself. However, with the release that they were in fact going to lower key interest rates, that gave strength to the dollar. And it was this huge dollar boost that really was the significant factor in what we're seeing in terms of gold pricing currently. In other words, you're seeing dollar strength as opposed to gold selling right now as we see the market off about $12 on the day. Now, of course, tomorrow we have a jobs report coming out, very important figure, but we're getting an interesting spin right now on that. Originally, analysts had forecast that there would be about 100,000 non-farm payroll jobs added in this report. However, ADP reported today that according to their numbers, they're showing an increase of about 175,000. So that's going to be interesting to see where the number actually comes in and what effect it will have on the markets. Last time we had a dismal jobs report, we saw the Dow Jones Industrial sell off by over 200 points. So we'll have to see how that report pans out tomorrow. Now, the European Central Banks were not the only central banks in the news today. It was reported that the People's Bank of the Republic of China also lowered their key interest rates by a quarter percent to three percent, their attempt to make sure that their economy, which is now the second largest in the world, doesn't have a significant slowdown. So they want to put some money into the supply itself. We're looking at a daily chart, COMEX continuous contract gold, and it's in straight candlestick format. You can see this inside trading day. When we look at this particular pattern, this particular pattern is called a bearish harami. A bearish harami is simply where you have an inside trading day. In other words, the down candle, which is drawn in red, is going to be inside or contained within the range of this up candle or up day because it's a daily chart. And therefore, it's an inside trading day to a Western technician simply called a harami candle. Now, the interesting thing and the reason I'm starting with this chart this morning is the MACD, which had turned lower as this market sold, and you can actually see now they have crossed and are signaling a buy to the upside here. Now realize, averages are always going to lag behind the market itself. It's a lagging indicator. But I do find it interesting that even though it's beginning to move into a higher territory, meaning where it could get overbought, we are getting this cross to the upside. Now, traders, all I have done to this chart is really, well, I've consolidated so we see more candles, but I have converted it into a Henkin Ashi chart. You can also see that one of the things that I've done, obviously, we severely broke this long-term trend line that we had. You can also see now that as the market came down, the former level of support has now become resistant. So I've created yet another trend line 
from the same low and I'm simply matching it to these new lows. And so in essence, what we'll want to do is to track how the market trades, of course, if it continues to rise when it reaches this top of our former support, which is now resistance, and we can continue to draw this for right now to get a better idea of long-term bullish trend support lines itself. Traders, we are looking at a Hankinashi chart. Time interval is 432 minutes, and it is of the dollar index. Of course, the dollar index is the dollar as it's weighed against four, excuse me, six major currencies, uh, a basket of currencies. You can see a couple of things on this chart that are immediately visible to me, and that is as we look at this dollar correcting here, you can see where we get our pivotal point in which the market begins to consolidate. We've talked about this on a number of occasions, but it is something that I can't highlight enough. And that is when we're looking at a Hank and Ashi chart, you've got a defined downtrend. You want to see these body sizes get very, very doji-like change color and that's your best indication that the market's going to reverse or that we've seen a pivot point here now when we take a look at how this market comes down first of all you get this band of real strong support it's based on these lows right in here but you can see the market trades lower it finds a support level but then this range consolidates very very tight before breaking out to the upside. And of course, it's these candles, these last couple of candles here that are putting significant pressure on gold currently. What do they say? The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Well, I'm a pretty big guy, so I'm not really sure about that statement. But we are looking at silver right now, 420 minute Hank and Ashi. And as I blow this up, excuse me, straight candlestick format, we'll move it into Hank and Ashi. But you can see the kind of pressure right now that we are witnessing in the silver market, 27.32. You've had that come off of a high of about 28.40. Significant pressure. Where do we see some interim support? Well, we've got one area right in here, just above 27.20. If the market does continue to fall, look for it to find some support in that area. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow on Friday for the weekly review. Bye-bye.